we're talking about fitness and I'm gonna show you how I went from this. This is me at 156 and a half. I'm embarrassed, I don't wanna be on here too long. To this. This is a 10 year transformation, but it's all about consistency. We're gonna get into it, just wait. This might be one of the biggest tips I think to come out of this video for you or for anybody who's on their fitness journey. And I'll tell you why, because I injured myself multiple times because I did not follow this rule. Oh wait, the lighting's better over here, hold up. I like that right there. What's up y'all? Okay, so I just finished my workout, had a great workout. I'm behind my gym right now, which is on Sunset, literally right next door to where they shoot Selling Sunset at the Oppenheim Group. Uh, some of them actually go to the gym, but that's neither here nor there. Today, we're not talking about selling multi-million dollar homes. We're talking about fitness. So whether you're new or if this is your first time here, hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Make sure you click that subscribe button because I never want you to miss anything. I am going to be giving my personal tips in this video for things that have helped me stay committed to my workouts over the years. First of all, hold on. Take this mic off. I'm gonna show you what I look like right now. I just finished my workout. So this is after today's workout. I just did chest and try today and a little bit of abs, but there's so many things, whether you're trying to gain weight, whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're just trying to get started, get in the gym, whether you've been going to the gym and haven't been seeing progress, there's some basic tips that I'm gonna talk about today and I want you to stay tuned. Now, of course, if you want, you can skip around the video and you know find the tips that you're looking for. I personally suggest you watch the whole thing because skipping around the video is kind of like skipping certain days at the gym. Oh! She's got a point, she's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Okay, I'm back. That was not shade, I'm just saying, I really want to make sure that you get all the tips that you need. So stay tuned, we are gonna be getting into everything. What worked, what didn't work, I'm gonna show you lots of videos from when I was going on this weight gain journey. Kind of talk about the history of my journey and how I can help you. But before we get into anything, for those who don't know, I'm Emil Ennis Jr. I'm a TV host and digital host, but I'm also a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach. However, anything or any advice I give in this video is just my opinion. I don't want you to take anything as fact. Um, if I'm not working with you directly, then of course, you know, I don't know your body and the different things that you specifically need. But please do listen to my advice. But again, don't take it as fact because this is just my opinion and my advice. So the very first tip that I have for you is consistency, okay? Now, whenever you're getting started on this fitness journey, of course, it's going to be difficult. You're going to want results immediately. It just doesn't happen like that. Is that a B? Okay, I've been outside long enough. We might have to go to the car. Uh-uh, no, -uh, get away from my camera, get away. No, 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 I don't, ooh. I don't like bees. No, uh-uh, see us in front, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm not getting stung today. Nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna put this on. He probably smells my cocoa butter. It smells sweet. Why is he hanging around my camera so much? No, stop it. Stop, I gotta turn the camera. No, no, get away from the camera. Oh my God, he's on the camera. Don't come by me, please. Okay, grab the camera now. Well, I'm in nature, so I guess he's probably right. All right, so the bee is gone. As you can see, we're in a different location now, but I still have my tips. So since this is a 10 year transformation video, I do want to give you 10 tips that have helped me over the 10 years. But you know what I like to say, before we move forward, we have to go to the past. So let's look at some of my journey when I first started out. So I haven't really been sticking to my diet like I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be eating a certain amount of protein, calories, everything a day and keeping track of it. I haven't really been doing it. I've been working out consistently, but I have to make sure I eat six meals a day. This is week three of my weight gain update. Week three. Um, like I said, I still have a lot of work to do. I've been working out. I am going back on the weight gain diet. No more excuses. I keep saying uh, I'm gonna do it this week and that week and this week, and it's turned into almost seven months not working out, not sticking to my diet. I'm learning to realize that my schedule isn't gonna get 
less busy. Whether it's the jobs I do now or once I become a working host, uh, my schedule is always going to be busy. So it's all about balance. Just finding the healthy balance. If I'm not We're documenting this. Go ahead and get the scale here. It looks like we're at, yeah, 153. Chicken's done. The veggies are done, and then I just have to put the quinoa and kale in the microwave. It takes a long time, but I promise you it's worth it just to have these meals ready, have your snacks ready, everything set to go. I want a nice, muscular body, and I'm going to get that. Um, I don't know if I set my goal in the last video, but my goal is to get up to 190. Can I do it? Yes. Will I do it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. If you really want something to happen in your life, there is no excuse. You will find a way to make it happen. You will find a way to make it happen. You will find a way to make it happen. There is a lot of insecurity there for many reasons. If you are just starting your fitness journey or if you've been on your fitness journey for a while, I know that it can be intimidating. You see people around you and you're like, how did they get like that? How do I get like that? What should I do? First of all, do not compare yourself to anyone. That is tip number one. Stop comparing yourself to other people because your body is your body, your journey is your journey, and it's gonna take time. So don't compare because if you compare yourself to somebody else, you're gonna end up being let down. You're gonna have unmet expectations. So literally just take it a day at a time and don't compare yourself to anybody else. That is the number one tip. I remember when I first walked into the gym, it was like 24 hour fitness years ago, obviously a decade ago. And I was so intimidated looking around because there were people and they were jacked and like you could tell that they did this all the time. And I was like, I have no clue what I'm doing. I even had like a free three sessions with a personal trainer and he made me feel so insecure. He was one of those trainers that said you should be vomiting and, and you should feel nauseous when you get through and like all this stuff. And he wasn't very friendly and it didn't really encourage me to work out or want to work out because I wanted to be encouraged and he was doing more of a fear-based kind of training. So that was not what I needed. Anyway, don't compare yourself to other people. Now, you do need to be consistent. I talked a little bit about this earlier, but consistency is key. Consistency is key. So when I talk about consistency, I mean going even when you don't feel like going because if you want to see results, you have to commit to your journey. So many times people start going to the gym. You know, new year, new me, all that, right? So they start going to the gym, they don't see the results immediately and then they wonder what happened. Well, what happened is you didn't stick to the plan. You didn't commit to what you said you were going to commit to. So if you actually want to see results, you have to keep going even when you don't feel like going. Trust me, I've been working out consistently for over a decade. Do I want to go to the gym every single day? Absolutely not. I didn't even want to go work out today, but I was like, I want to have a little pump on camera. You know what I'm saying? I want to look good. But I normally don't always have the energy to work out. You know, we have life, right? You have your day to day. You might have kids. You might have different things that are taking a lot of your time that are filling your schedule and you're like, oh, I don't have time to work out. Mm -mm -mm. Today drained me. Even if it's 30 minutes a day, don't overwhelm yourself. Just commit to doing something each day. And I think that is how you will at least start on your fitness journey. Now, if you're already on your fitness journey and you've committed and you're like, I'm not seeing the results, we'll get into some reasons why you're not, why, blah, blah, blah. We'll get into some reasons why you might not be seeing those results, but I really started seeing results when I committed and when I was consistent. So I told you, when I was at 24 Hour Fitness, it was $24.99 for all access. I could go to any 24 hour fitness gym, y'all. I would go maybe five or six times a year and the gym was right down the street. The problem was I wasn't motivated enough to go. I was paying this low amount and it wasn't enough motivation, which brings me to tip number three. Find your why. Why did you click this video? Why are you going on this fitness journey? What is your reason? So I have a starter guide that I created. Um, if you want to check that out, it's on my website. In that starter guide, I talk about extrinsic versus intrinsic motivation. Basically what that means is, what is your motivation for going? So let's say for example, you know, I have a vacation coming up, right? I know that I want to look good for my vacation. I'm going to Miami and I want to take my shirt off and feel good, look good, whatever. So I plan this trip to Miami, I'm working out for a few weeks or a few months and I'm feeling good and I have this goal, right? But then once that trip's over, what's gonna keep you going to the gym? What's gonna keep you motivated and wanting to go work out? Hmm? How do you find that? So for me, 
I joined an expensive gym <laughs> and I did it when I finally got some more money and that was around 2015 and that's honestly when I started to see my body transform. So it's a gym out here called Equinox, right? It's a luxury gym and they have like eucalyptus towels and uh, the, you know, the steam room and everything and they keep it so pristine and nice. And I was like, oh, I wanna work out there. So I booked this commercial in 2015 and I was like, I'm gonna use the money from that commercial to pay for my gym membership. And I've been working out there ever since. Now, obviously everybody can't afford that, that's fine. But you have to find your motivation. For me, initially it was, I'm paying all this money to go to this gym, so I better actually use it. And what I found was I actually started to enjoy working out. That's because, like I said, it's gonna take time. You have to be consistent. But then once I combined all those tips together, then that's when I actually started to see the results. So because I was committed to this gym, because I was committed to myself and I had a goal, I started to find the joy in working out. And then I started to find the joy in actually seeing the results of my workout. And it definitely helped that, you know, at you know the particular location that I was at earlier, remember when I was told, told you I was behind the gym so that particular location there's a lot of like actors and models and athletes that go there so being surrounded by people who are in pristine shape that was definitely helpful and motivating um, intimidating at first but definitely motivating but regardless what is your why what is your motivation again why did you click this video what is your reasoning for wanting to do this that is very very important number four get out of your own way so the negative self-talk can be so damaging so growing up I was always skinny I was scrawny, I was lanky. There's gonna be so much negative self-talk along the way that's gonna make you seem or make you feel as if you're not making progress. But here's the thing, every single time you take a step towards your goal, you are making progress, even if it's a small step. So get out of your own way, don't find excuses, just actually say, I'm going to commit to this goal and I'm going to go. And again, these are all things that have helped me over the last 10 years to actually commit to this because when I talk about negative self-talk, oh my gosh, I talk about body dysmorphia all the time and how when I look in the mirror, I don't see what other people see. And I think that's because a lot of times I'm seeing the lanky kid and I wanted to reach this goal and I didn't know how to get there. Y'all have to pee so bad, but we are gonna get through these tips. Tip number five, form over ego. Y'all, y'all. Y'all, I don't care what your goal is. If it's to gain weight, if it's to lose weight, if it's to maintain, I think personally, this might be one of the biggest tips I think to come out of this video for you or for anybody who's on their fitness journey. And I'll tell you why, because I injured myself multiple times because I did not follow this rule. With everything that you do in the gym, you have to make sure that you let the ego go. So that means is you might see somebody and they're doing bicep curls and they have like 45 pounds in each hand and they're like, oh my gosh, I wanna do that. And so you start to increase your weights faster than you should. Focus on your form, focus on your form. It is very easy to want to show off in the gym, right? Especially when you start to see progress, you want to start lifting heavier and you wanna show people, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Well, guess what? That can lead to injury, which is exactly what happened to me. I was starting to see progress uh, a few years into it and I was doing bench press and I noticed that my shoulder was starting to hurt and I kept going and kept going and then my shoulder got worse and I dealt with an injury for years. I finally went to physical therapy for just a couple of years ago and I was in physical therapy for four months trying to fix that injury, which eventually I did. But if you're working with a personal trainer or if you get on YouTube and you look up a specific workout or exercise, make sure that you're looking to see how to properly do that exercise. If you're on the treadmill, make sure you have your proper form. Like all of these things, there are certain things you need to do to make sure that you're actually doing them effectively, that you're working the right muscle groups and that you're not going to injure yourself. This is a bonus tip if you're ever shooting a video. Make sure you pee before because I started shooting this, as you know, when I finished my workout and then I went straight outside to start shooting and then the bee attacked me and then I came over here to start shooting. I still have not used the restroom, even though there was a restroom in the gym that I could have used. Pee before you shoot any videos. Got it. Okay, let's continue. So number six, this is for anybody. Again, whether you're trying to gain weight, lose weight, maintain, Nutrition, 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 nutrition. You can do anything and everything in the gym. That does not mean you're gonna see results if you are not monitoring what you put inside of your body. When I was going on my weight gain journey, I thought that I was doing everything that I needed to do to reach my goal, right? Spend all the time in the gym. You can run, you can do these different things. That doesn't mean you're gonna see results because nutrition is such a huge part of 
what actually helps transform your body. And I had to, it took me a long time to learn that. I was meal prepping, I was doing these things, but you really have to monitor what you're putting in if you want to get results. And again, everybody's body is different. So make sure you're doing the right nutrition and meals for your body. I don't do any alcohol anymore. No weed. I don't uh, really have a lot of cheat meals or sugar. Okay, let, okay, let me, okay. Every now and then I like my um, gummies, like Haribo sour gummies are really good. What's the other ones I like, Blue? I haven't really done the cookies with icing that often. Occasion. Oh yeah, the gummy savers, the lifesaver gummy savers. Um, oh, the Trader Joe's, uh, Scandinavian swimmers, the sour ones, those are really good. Anyway, point being, those are my, my weaknesses, but then there's healthier options if you still want some sweetness, right? So maybe I'll get a little pineapple or a honey crisp apple with uh, some peanut butter. Like there's different ways to still get that little sugar kick, that sweetness without having to go that route, right? So it's about finding what works for you, finding different healthier options that work for you. And here's the thing, when it comes to nutrition, it's not always going to be tasty. So especially if you start meal planning and prepping, a lot of times it's eating the same thing or similar things day after day. But I guarantee you y'all, you're gonna see the results and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, and just stick to it. And every now and then you can have a cheat meal because I'm not one of those people who's like, cut everything out, no. No, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> that sounded like a, cut everything out. You, you need to make sure if you want to reach your goal, this is what you have to do. Like on um, Maury back in the day, is it Maury or Maori? Maury. Maury, remember he would bring the boot camp, the people, y'all remember on Maury? If, God, if you don't know that or this reference and that just makes you feel old. But back in the day on Maury, there used to be like every few episodes, he would bring somebody on and it would be like these uh, juvenile teens that like, my name is Ashley, and my mama can't tell me what I'm gonna do. I do what I want. And then they bring like the, the security guy or the police correctional officer. He's always like, Ashley, if you wanna do what you wanna do, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna be like. And it's like a whole thing. Anyway, let's get back to nutrition. You know, just to give an example, I have oatmeal almost every day, salmon, I have chicken, lots of chicken, uh, ground turkey, uh, beef. Like, there's different things you can do to make sure that you're committing to the goals that you need to meet. The protein intake is really important, making sure you're getting enough protein for your body and for your goal. Uh, the carbs, like all these different things are things that are going to help you reach your goal, no matter what your goal is, whether it is to lose, gain, or maintain, right? Another thing though, since we're talking about nutrition is supplements. Some people think that, you know, I just need to take the supplements and it doesn't matter what I eat, no. Supplements are great, and supplements are part of your nutrition plan, I think. There's lots of supplements that I take. There is L-arginine, there is creatine, there's glutamine, BCAA, I have my pre-workout, I take my multivitamins. All that's great, but it's only a small part of the nutrition. If you're not getting the whole foods, your vegetables, your uh, carbs, your protein, and all these things that are gonna help fuel your body, the supplements aren't going to be like the game changer that's gonna change your life, but they definitely do help. So if you do your proper diet, whatever the diet is that you're doing, and then also you do your supplements, that's gonna be so great for you and you really are gonna see some changes. Last thing for nutrition, and this is for my skinny people who are trying to gain weight because that's the specific journey that I was on. Eat a lot, eat a lot. It's gonna seem like you're eating a lot, but you actually are going to have to, it, it was physically uncomfortable a lot of times for me to eat as much as I had to eat. And I know people are like, oh my God, woe is me. Like you guys have to eat so much. No, 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 it's not fun though, because yes, there's a dirty bulk, you can like, eat burgers and pizza and donuts and all those things and you'll get bigger, but it's not gonna be clean. There's gonna be a lot of fat that comes with that. But if you're trying to build muscle and just bulk up in a clean way, it's gonna be eating a lot and it's not always going to be fun. So just try to find recipes that are healthy that you can eat without, I don't know, I can't even lie to you. When, it, when, when I'm bulking up, it is not fun. It doesn't matter the recipe because I don't add a lot of salt and different things. And I remember like sometimes I'm doing these plans, I'm eating, I'm like, oh my God, I don't wanna eat anymore. But you have to have a regimen, have a plan, have a schedule and, and stick to that. Number seven, track your progress. Do y'all see how I literally have videos from over a decade ago? I have photos. I have taken photos and videos of my progress over the years and it really is a game changer, especially 
especially for, remember I talked about that negative self-talk? If you track your progress and you actually look at where you came from, you would give yourself a pat on the back, you would applaud yourself because you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize how much progress I was making. That is what's so great about tracking, right? But when you're tracking your progress, you know, you can keep track of your weight, you can keep photos and all these different things. Don't be hard on yourself. If you find you're not progressing as fast as you want to go, that's okay. That is okay. There's just some things you may need to, wow, is my voice cracking? <clears throat> there may be some things that you need to adjust, okay? And we'll get into that in one of the later tips. But look, don't be so hard on yourself. Track your progress, look at your photos and see what you're doing. But in, in this, a little sub tip in this, the scale is your friend, but don't solely rely on that. I think one of the biggest things I love about tracking my progress with photos instead of looking at the number on the scale is if you track your progress with photos and you actually look at your visual, how you're changing, you'll notice that the scale might be the same number, it might be more, it might be less, but you might actually look better or look closer to your goal even though the number on the scale may not be what you want it to be. So for example, in that earlier video, my goal was to be 190. I got to 190, shoot, I got to 200. And it was great, but also I've been 180, 182, and I still look great because it's not always about the number that's on the scale. It's about what you actually look like when you look into the mirror. So I think that's really important is to don't focus so much on the number on the scale, track your progress in different ways. And also another thing, speaking of tracking, track your actual weights and workouts. So sometimes when we're not seeing progress, it's because we're not actually holding ourselves accountable and keeping track of what we're lifting. So if you are in the gym and you're lifting, if you did three sets and you did 12, 10, eight rep scheme, then that means that you should be tracking that. So this week I did three sets and for the first set of 12, I did 50 pounds. The second set I did 60 pounds. The third set I did 70 pounds. So that means next week, hey, you might be able to go up five pounds or 10 pounds. You know, it all depends on your body and what you are doing in the gym, but definitely, definitely keep track if you actually are trying to see progress. Because sometimes people go into the gym and they're just like, oh, I'll just start lifting and doing what I'm doing. No, keep track and then you'll see, oh, I actually am making progress. And then when you see, uh, that fly. And then when you see you're making progress, then you'll actually start to see changes in your body that are closer to the goal that you're trying to reach. Number eight look good and have fun. So I feel like this one should have been earlier because this is real important for me. I have to always make sure that my outfit is cute. This is a very important tip. Make sure your outfit is cute because if you look good, you feel good, right? So I believe that working out, you need to invest in yourself. So that means investing in my clothes and getting things that look good on my body. So when I look in the mirror, I'm like, okay, the booty popping, the, the chest is looking good, the arms are, are accentuated in the way I want them to be accentuated. Feel good while you are looking good. And when I say have fun, remember I talked about those motivations earlier. So if you aren't having fun, you're not going to be motivated to do the workout. Now, I know I said like some days I don't want to go. Absolutely. But genuinely, when I get into my rhythm and I'm at the gym and I, my, my pre-workout is kicked in, I'm listening to my music and I'm having fun. Oh, music is an important one too. Another sub tip. Music is important. Get some music that you like listening to. So have fun. But let's say you're watching this and you're like, Emil, I don't really enjoy the gym. I'm not really a, a gym person. I don't think I want to do that. I like to do outdoor workouts or I like to do boot camps or I like to do Pilates. Look, whatever workout you want to do, that's the beauty of this. I enjoy different types of workouts. I love going to the gym, but I also love going to Barry's boot camp. I also love to do some outdoor runs every now and then or hiking at Runyon. Like there's different ways to challenge your body. And that's the, the beauty of it is you can find what works for you and just have fun. Because if you're not having fun with your workout, you're not going to commit and you're not going to actually follow through with this. So find something that works for you and look good while doing it. Hold on. Did y'all see my, I don't know if they can see my shorts. Y'all see my shorts? <laughs> <gasps> anyway, they're cute. The whole outfit's cute. All right, now you might be watching this video and you're like, hmm, I'm feeling good. I feel motivated. I feel like I'm gonna do this, yes. Now, when you do find something that you like, you might be like, I'm going to the gym every day. I'm doing this every single day. Nope, 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 nope. Rest and recovery is so important. Number nine, rest and recover. Rest and recover. And I'm gonna do a, a sub tip in that. Let's go ahead and add a comma. Rest, recover, and stretch. 
Y'all, <laughs> I am getting older now, okay? I'm almost mid thirties. And when I tell you your body changes and things happen and you are having to do things that you didn't have to do previously, if you're watching this and you're nodding along, you know what I'm talking about. They're like, oh, you know, when you hit this age, your body, yeah, it's true. It's absolutely true, your body changes. So when I tell you rest, recover, and stretch, that is so important. Your body needs time to heal. Your body needs time to process everything that it's gone through with these workouts. So don't be afraid to rest. Don't be so hard on yourself. There was one time where I got sick and I literally was not able to work out for a week and a half. When I tell you when I finally got back to the gym, my body looked incredible. And I think it's because I actually rested. I recovered and it was like my body probably shut down because it was like, bruh, you need to calm down. You're doing too much. And so I rest, I recover, and I stretch. I stretch before my workout. I make sure I warm up. And then I also do a post-workout stretch. So I'm talking about stretching. I'm talking about foam rolling. I'm talking about, oh, I should have brought my gym bag over here. A Theragun or a hyper -ice percussion massager because these tools that you have, cupping, um, the vibrating foam rollers or the balls, like all these things help with your recovery. And it really is a game changer. People ask me, do you really like to use your uh, Theragun? I use my Theragun every single day every single day it has different attachments you can put on there like a heating attachment or a cold attachment or this one's for this part of the body it really is amazing so if you are wanting to see results you can't just work out you can't just you know focus on what you're putting in your body you also have to make sure that you're focused on the recovery right and taking care of the aftermath of whatever you're putting your body through and also, a lot of people don't know this, but in those off days, in the rest, in the recovery, you're actually getting stronger and you're healing because muscle building is literally, you're tearing the muscle. Sorry, y'all, my battery died. Okay, so just like in life, y'all know life be life in. When life tears you down, even though you go through these traumatic situations, even though you go through these things that challenge you, what happens, right? You come back stronger than ever and you're like, oh, I can deal with this thing that used to bother me and now, I'm good. Whew. Life really do be life in though. So anyway, say all that to say, rest, recovery, stretch, sleep, all that stuff is so necessary and is so integral to actually growing your body or reaching whatever goal that you have. Ooh, it's getting dark y'all, the sun's going down, but I told you I'm gonna get through these tips. Okay, number 10. Love yourself, love your body, give yourself grace. You are perfect just the way you are. If you are watching this video and you're just watching because you are my friend, I appreciate you. You're like, I'm not taking a single tip that Emil just said, but I just want to hang out. I appreciate you. You ain't gotta do nothing. If you don't wanna go to the gym, if you don't wanna work out, listen, live your life, that is fine. Love yourself, love your body, and I say that um, as somebody who did not love himself for a very long time. And again, I talked about this earlier, but I would look in the mirror and I'll be like, why, why can I gain weight? Why, why can I get muscle? Why, why, like just finding reasons to attack myself. And now I look back and I'm like, just because I wasn't at the goal that I wanted, I was still perfect. I was still beautiful. I'm still worthy of love. And I look back at that young guy who had this goal and I wish I could tell him like it's okay to have the goal but also just be present in this moment and know that you can have a goal while still loving yourself and not tearing yourself down. So if you are having issues reaching your goal or if you are, oh mosquito, Lord. If you are having an issue <laughs> reaching your goal or if you are beating yourself up or if you just feel like one day you are fully motivated and then the next day you're not, just love yourself through it all, love your body through it all. You're going to encounter changes. You're going to encounter, going to, going, gonna, going to, I think I combined gonna and going. You're going to encounter challenges. It's not always going to be easy. There's gonna be times where you plateau and there's some stagnation that happens. And, oh, with this little sub tip, if that does happen, challenge yourself and switch up your workouts. That's, that's really the biggest way to change if you start to stop seeing changes, if you're on a, 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 a upswing and then all of a sudden things just stop changing, switch it up. That means increase your weights, that means change the exercises you're doing, challenge your body in a different way. And again, just love yourself through it all. And also remember, 
This is all new to your body, so that's new to you. You can watch all these videos, you can, you know, do all these things, but ultimately you're figuring out how to transform your body as you go. So give yourself some grace and just have fun. Hopefully these helped. I'm going to go ahead and show you a little mini workout that you could do at home right now. If you want more tips, you can go to my website and I have my starter guide. I also have three training programs that you can purchase right now. But also if you don't want to do that or purchase a single thing, that's fine. I hope that you got some motivation or something from this video that inspires you because working out has truly changed my life. And if I could get other people to understand how it's helped me mentally, how it's helped me see myself and see the world around me, um, that would really mean so much to me so hopefully you got something from this and if you do not subscribe click that subscribe button and also speaking of mental health i've gone on a mental health journey so go ahead and click right over here to watch my recent video talking about that and i'll see you soon right back here on my channel it is real the sun is setting y'all so i need to go inside and the mosquitoes are eating my ass up